Hello, I'm the Dead, and today um, I present you the new custom firmware again for PSP. As you can see, this is my PSP Go. And it's currently running the firmware 6.20 LME 2.1, so it's another update. It looks like it's a minor one, but it, it's actually, well, a bigger one. Why it is a bigger one? Well, the previous one added the Inferno driver and a few recovery menu colors. But this one adds two new cool things. The hide custom firmware directions from game. So games like uh, DJ Max Portable are now working because previously they did not start, they did not save or both if they detected a custom firmware. And the no DRM engine is now available, so the plugin NP loader is not necessary anymore. And if you happen to have multiple PSN accounts with multiple like download contents, PSN games, etc., you can now play all your games. Even if you have to switch your account, the PSP will play all of them. Another hidden change is the translation feature for the VSH and recovery menu got a bit enhanced. If I change my language now back to German and enable some features in the recovery menu like the VSH menu color, you can see the colors are also translated. It also supports special characters like the German SZ and others like the umlauts, the U, the A, the Ö and so on. You might have to use um, a table.bin file but a lot of um, special tables are already in the translation folder like de underscore or fr underscore so if you happen to want to use a German or French one you actually can use it without uh, trying to get rid of the restrictions that you could personally not directly use the umlauts and stuff. Okay, what I want to show you is I can start the game DJ Max Portable because the height custom firmware directions function is enabled. Usually this game would refuse to start at custom firmware, but with this new feature it actually starts. I'm not sure if every DJ Max um, portable game has this custom firmware blockage but I know that at least two of these have it. It's very rare that the game has it, but if it has it, this can get rid of it. And the and another thing I want to show you <clears throat> is the loading of downloadable content. Um, my Project Diva game is an ISO game, and I'm not using MP loader, I'm just using the built-in no DRM engine. I'm using my nice pause feature of the PSP Go to skip the intro of the game. Load. No, I will start a new game. So I have a fresh save data. Yes. Yes. Um, save. Um, my voice is a bit stressed stressed out from the weekend because of the Dota 2 ESL1 event so if I sound a bit weird I'm sorry okay as you can see I hope you can follow I'm going into the options and then I will load downloadable, downloadable content at first I will show that if you go to the music feature these are default songs and these are extra songs so you can see I there are now <coughs> no songs to select so it basically has no DLC installed yet. Now I will go to the menu where I can install downloadable content files. These should be extra songs. It takes a little while, like 5 seconds, but then the DLC is available and the save data is saved and you can actually use it. You can add as many DLCs as you want as long it supports your uh, 
region of the game, so if you have a European game, you need European DLCs, as far as I know. And after you um, enable your DLCs, it will show you what's now available. And then you can add, add even more DLCs. I will quickly add a few DLCs. And then I will go back to the music menu where you could see that no actual DLC was available, but now it should be available. So it is basically the same no DRM engine as the Pro Custom Firmware. If I now use the third function, as you can see, now there are these downloadable content extra songs. Got. <clears throat> This character is also only available via download the content. So yeah. And I can actually play the game. I actually wanted to make this video pretty short, but I wasn't able to do so and I'm not going to show the PSP 1000 for the Mi equivalent because I did it in the previous videos and I think I don't have to do it for now. So yeah, that was my video about the new Me and Alumi custom firmware releases. Um, just showcased it my PSP Go because that's the PSP I use most. And yeah, feel free to update. Permanent patch of course included for the 6.20 LME and the Me custom firmwares, ME custom firmwares are of course permanent. So if you have an old PSP. 6.60 ME it is, and you if you have a new PSP, 6.20 LME permanent it is, in my opinion. I'm the Dad, and see you soon.